This video is going to show you how to create the straight track piece for your miniature train project. Uh, we're going to create the base part of the track first without the connector pieces like you can see here. And we'll do that by just creating the side profile right here and then just extruding that. And then what we'll do is we'll just create a sketch on the top which will make both of these connector pieces. So I'm going to go up to file, new design, and then go to create sketch. And then I'm just going to choose the front sketch right here. So like I said, we are going to create this side profile using this part of the drawing right here. So I'm just going to go to the line tool and start drawing that. So I'm going to draw this line going up, which is just going to be one inch from the origin point. And then let's go back down to that and we'll just draw all the way across and that will go a distance of 3.4 inches. Okay, we'll just keep going across here. This again is just going to be one. I'm just going to move my mouse over here to reference this point and drag it back and then just click. And then I will go ahead and just drag this over to complete the, the rectangle. And then there are going to be two little cutouts here where the wheels of the train are going to sit in the track. So I'm just going to roughly sketch where those are and then we'll add dimensions here. So one's going to roughly go there, and then one will roughly go here. Okay, so let's add some dimensions to that. So if we look at this first one on the left-hand side, the left line uh, is 0.4 from the left edge. So we'll just dimension that. So that's going to be 0.4. The next line, which is this one here, is going to be 0.75. And then the depth of this line is going to be 0.1875. So from this line to the top, it's going to be 0.1875. Okay, so that's this side that's done. Let's go over here to this side. I'm going to go ahead and dimension the depth since that's going to be the same. That is going to be 0.1875. And then this line which is this one in the drawing, is going to be 2.65 from the left edge. So from here to here, it's going to be 2.65. And then our last line is going to be 3 inches from the left side. So from here to here, that will be 3. Okay, the last thing I'll do, you notice we have two lines here at the top of those. I'm just going to trim those off. So I'll go to the Trim tool and then just click both of those to trim those off. And then we'll go ahead and click Finish Sketch. And then I'll click Home, and we are just going to extrude this. And the total distance we need to extrude it is the length of the track, which you can see right here, and that's going to be 12 inches. Okay, so there is most of our track. We just got to get these two connector pieces. So to do that, I'm going to click this top part right here and make a new sketch on that. And then uh, you'll notice it'll kind of flip it upside down. I'm gonna rotate this a couple of times just so it's oriented exactly like this uh, picture is here. So this bottom part, I'm gonna make this where this bottom outer connector is. Kind of zoom in here. So I'm gonna start by drawing a circle. I'm gonna find the midpoint of this line where the triangle is and just draw down. And then I'll just place that circle. And you can see in the drawing over here, it says the radius is 0.7. So that means it has a diameter of 1.4. Okay, And then the distance from the edge to the center point of that circle is 1 inch. So I'm going to dimension that. It'll be 1 inch. And then it's still blue, uh, even though we reference the midpoint of this line. So let's just go ahead and add from the midpoint to this left side. It should still say 1.7, which is exactly what the middle of that is, because this is 3.4 inches across. So um, we'll just add that so it's fully constrained. The next part that we're going to do is we are going to add these connecting lines to connect the circle to the uh, profile of the track. So I'm going to go to the line tool and then I'm going to make this first line a construction line because we're just going to make a line in the center here to be kind of a reference line. And then I'll uncheck the construction line tool and then go um, still in my line tool. I'm just going to draw a line 
on the left as well as the right side of that. And make sure those are perpendicular. Notice as I'm drawing, it's vertical and I can see the perpendicular symbol. Okay, and then you'll notice the total distance that it gives here is 0.6. And we're gonna have to dimension these from the center line. So I'm gonna dimension it half of 0.6. So it's gonna be from here to here, it'll be 0.3. And then also 0.3 on this side. Okay, the final part for this is just to trim out this inner part of the circle. So this is all just one profile. So I'll go to the trim tool and then just click these two lines. So that's all just one profile, just like it is in this part. And we actually have to add the round for these two little corners right here. So I'll go up to the fillet tool and then I'll click these two corners. And then that says that it needs to have a radius of 0 0.19. So I'll just change this to 0 0.19 press enter. Okay, so this part is done. So I'm just, I'm not gonna finish the sketch yet. I'm just gonna go up here and we'll go ahead and make the sketch for the uh, the other part, for this part here. So we'll start with a circle again, like we did last time at the center line. This says that it's 0.75. I think there's supposed to be a radius symbol there that was emitted. So that should be a diameter of 1.5. And again, we're gonna just dimension that. So from the line down to the center point is gonna be one inch like it was last time. And then again, I will go from the left edge to that center point. If it'll give me that, let me try again. Center point edge, there it goes, 1.7, just like it was last time. And again, let me move this down so that get this out of our way. Uh, again, we're gonna add lines here to make this little connection part. So we will go to the line tool and I'm gonna enable con the construction line for this the center reference line, just like we did last time. And I'll uncheck the construction line and then we'll make a line on the left and the right. So let's go ahead and dimension those. The distance this time is 0.65, so that means the distance here is going to be half of that, which is 0.325. And same on this side. And then just like we did, let's go ahead and trim off the inner part of the circle that we don't need. And then we will add in the 0.19 round, just like we did last time. So we'll go to the fillet tool and then click these corners and just add 0 0.19. And that part is also done. So I'll go ahead and click finish, click home. And then we'll have to do a couple of extrudes here. So I'll click extrude and I'll click this profile here. And I'm just gonna flip it upside down here so we can kind of see the bottom. And then uh, under extent type, I will click to object. And then I'm just gonna click the bottom of it. So that will tell it basically to go from the top where the sketch is down to the bottom of the uh, track. And then we'll just click OK. And that should make this part. Notice your sketch disappeared, so we're going to go over here to our sketches folder and then make sketch 2 visible again so that we can extrude this part away. So I'll go to extrude again, click this profile this time, and then again we're going to change this to to object, click the bottom. It should automatically detect that it's a cut. And then we'll just click OK. Can go ahead and hide sketch two, and at this point, your straight track piece is done.